Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to give you a quick update on Hemp Inc. ticker symbol HEMP, and also show you a couple of things on the charts about GNOG and GNUS. Just to reiterate, guys, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is for entertainment purposes only, guys. So let's dive right on into it. Okay, guys, so Hemp Inc. reports more opportunity for hemp growers as Idaho Hemp Bill receives the green light. Okay, it says Hemp Inc. is proud to report hemp legislation continues momentum in the state of Idaho as House Bill 126 makes it out of the committee to the Senate floor. The bill would legalize the production, processing, and transportation of industrial hemp. According to one news source, the Senate's the Senate Agricultural Affairs Committee gave a favorable recommendation to House Bill 126 following a short public hearing. No one testified in opposition of the bill, which would allow Idaho farmers to produce the crop while still respecting law enforcement concerns about marijuana. The bill previously passed the House 44 to 26. Hemp Inc. executives say more and more states are giving industrial hemp the green light, which provides great opportunities for hemp growers in the state. They'll be able to weigh the risk and rewards of a crop that needs to be regulated. So more good news, guys, more good news. And um, I continue to say this, but, you know, eventually this thing is going to start coming up, <laughs> right? And at one cent, I mean, I'm telling you, man, if you have a couple hundred bucks to just start throwing at this stock and start accumulating, then I don't know if it'll be this year. Or you know, in two years, three years, whatever. But I mean, just think about it. You get 100,000 shares, 150,000 shares, a million shares, and this thing pops to a dollar. I mean, it's gonna come. Okay, the more legislation that happens in the industrial hemp industry, it's gonna happen. And um, you know, keep in mind with this stock. Also, like I've said on the previous videos, earnings should be coming out at the end of this month, and I'm expecting those to be you know, uh, pretty decent considering they had some good numbers last year during the pandemic. So uh, let's go to the charts to look at what they're telling us on this stock. But I also want to provide you an update on GNOG for tomorrow because we do have earnings tomorrow after hours and also a quick update on GNUS. Okay, guys, so hemp ticker GMP, as you see, has not <laughs> really done anything the past uh, several weeks little to no volume at all which is really when i like to get into a stock so anything around these prices guys i'm eating up every time i have a, a little bit of extra cash i'm throwing at it okay um it's still above the sma line okay your support is going to be at 0 0.0113 resistance 0 0.0176 so extremely cheap for these prices guys just to put into perspective how cheap it is um, oops, wrong thing. Need a calculator, not a calendar. Okay, so let's say you have a hundred bucks, and you get it for a cent. You have ten thousand shares, and if that thing pops to, let's you know, say twenty-five cents off of your hundred-dollar investment, you just profited uh, about twenty-four hundred dollars. Okay, so uh, plays like this, I don't want to put you know my whole life savings in because. They're volatile and they're risky, super risky. So you don't ever want to uh, put in more than you can afford to lose, okay? I had someone ask me on the channel the other day, how much do you think I should buy? I said, well, you know, whatever you're willing to risk. <laughs> okay, but the good thing about these is you can just, you know, put a couple hundred bucks in and be a um, get a good chunk of uh, skin in the game, okay? Uh, GNUS, guys, we talked about this play that might run up uh, due to the announcement for Marvel that's coming out on the 30th, okay? So not a whole lot of volume on it, and you see that we're at about uh, 244. Support's going to be 229, and I'm hoping it can you know pull back a little bit and get closer down to this level, or if it wants to sell off a little bit further, even better. Okay, but we are close to overvalued, so if we do push up tomorrow and we get about to that 250 level, don't chase it because we're going to come back down for a little bit. I think prior to the March 30th. Um, update about Marvel. Okay, another play on this. I'm actually thinking about putting some contracts in uh, for some options and doing a two dollar and fifty cent call 
on this particular play because I think it's going to easily get there in the next week or so. And last one, guys, Golden Nugget Online Gaming. And we do have earnings tomorrow. Okay, so you might still see some people selling off and getting nervous um, in <laughs> anticipation of the earnings, thinking they're not going to be good. But I'm hoping they come out and they knock them out the park and send us right back up and bust through that 1886 resistance level. That would be huge because I think if we can bust through that level, then we're going to $20 and beyond after that point. Guys, that's all I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. As always, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit that notification bell. That way YouTube can let you know every time we release a new video. So other than that, guys, we'll catch you in tomorrow's video.